Then we have the theorems involving infinite limits and limits at infinity of logarithms. Okay, so sorry, logarithms. Where is our log? Okay, or ln. Okay, so ln natural log. Okay, so uh, for logarithms, it's much easier compared to exponential. We just need to understand that there is two possible. There are two possible cases. Okay, so if it's x approaching positive infinity and x negative infinity. So, a logarithm to the base b of x or logarithm of x to the base b as x approaches positive infinity is just positive infinity. While on the other hand, if it's uh, x approaching negative infinity, the logarithm does not exist. Okay, so why is it? positive infinity for x positive infinity and why is it dne does not exist for negative infinity so let's try to look at the graphs so taking this as an example we have log of 2x okay so uh, log of 2x sorry 2x okay so our base is 10 so observe Based on our x-axis, again, we are going to look at the values of x. Observe that there is only a graph. The graph exists only if our values is greater than 0. Okay? In fact, at 0, it becomes asymptotic. It's, there is a vertical asymptote here. Okay? So, 0 is not included. So, for it is only for values greater than zero okay so in other words we will consider the domain of our logarithm or the logarithmic function again there are no values for the negative x values there are no y values or the, the function does not have any answers if it's negative the value of x is negative However, if the, it is positive, the graph of the function exists. So, if we go towards negative infinity, there is no answer because there is no graph there. There is no function there. But if we go towards positive infinity, we can observe that our graph is increasing. Okay, it's increasing. It's going up. So, at some point, at infinity... Okay, at infinity, value of x at infinity, at some point, the value of y also goes to infinity. Okay, so let's go towards example. So example number 3, we have this. Limit of ln of 2x minus 1 as x approaches positive infinity. So again, ln is a natural logarithm, hence it's a logarithm. So... Of course, we cannot use our calculators here for the reason that it's approaching positive infinity. We don't have positive infinity in our calculator. So we will try to observe the behavior. So we have ln. So try using substitution rule. So 2x. So our x is positive infinity. This becomes 2 times positive infinity is just positive infinity. Okay, so twice infinity is just infinity minus 1 so infinity minus 1 will it actually change no it's just infinity again so we have ln of infinity positive infinity and again if we have ln of positive infinity the answer is just positive infinity okay so that's the answer for letter a now for letter b let's have this so we have log Logarithm of 2x plus 5 to the base 3 as x approaches negative infinity using our substitution rule. So we have 2 times negative infinity. So again, infinities are affected by signs. So 2 times negative infinity is just negative infinity. Okay, so negative infinity plus 5. So will it actually change? Will 5 change negative infinity? Of course not. It's just negative, negative infinity. Okay, so 5 is just 
a small constant. So we are sure that the answer is negative infinity for this. So we will have log of uh, negative infinity to the base 3. And again, whenever whenever our logarithm, our argument, by the way, the, the expression inside of the logarithm is called the argument, okay? So whatever, if whenever inside of this parenthesis is negative infinity, according to our rule, it's negative infinity, the answer is it does not exist, okay? The logarithm does not exist. Again, does not exist does not mean positive or negative infinity, huh? Because we're not sure where it's, where it's going because there is no answer. So does not exist may mean uh, may also mean positive infinity, may mean negative infinity, may mean positive and negative infinity, and may it even it may even mean no answer at all. Okay, so that's it for our examples. And that's it for this lesson, lesson number three. We're three down. Okay, so uh, on the next lesson, lesson number four, we are going to deal with indeterminate forms. So I hope to see you there and study well. Bye-bye.